Okay, the first thing we're going to do when we start the Talk Tablet software for iOS is we need to be in our default user. And this is going to, I'm going to show you right now how to use our sharing our Talk Tablet Connects uh, features. So, anyway, if you're not in the uh, user of the default user, you need to first click on settings in the bottom, go into users, and choose default user, then come back to settings at the bottom here, go into sharing. And then you can either, if you can see it very well, it's very small, but in blue it says register, and to the left it says login. If you haven't already registered, just click in here with register and give it a username and password, and I'll just give it a real simple one. I'll just call it, I will call it tester and register. Success. Okay. So now that I've registered, I need to log in, and I'll type in tester24680 and touch login and it's successfully logged in. Okay, now when you do that, this enable sharing button at the top, it might be like that, it might be great. You need to move it to the right so it's green and that means you have enabled the sharing feature. Okay, then you go back to settings, top left hand corner, uh, then you can see your users. Now you can go back to your user, whatever user you happen to be using, and um, let's suppose this was your actual user. Now I touch on the bottom on main page and here I am. Okay, now I'm going to uh, bring in a button or buttons from our sharing service, but, and this page happens to be full. So let's try and find a page where there's some room. This one has some room, so let's uh, we'll use this as our sample page. Uh, although it is it has some empty buttons in the bottom, it is actually full of buttons. So I'll hit edit, and I'll actually delete a couple of these buttons. And just by touching the X in the top left hand corner. And then when I'm finished deleting buttons, press done in the upper right hand corner. Okay, so now I have some actually empty spots in the bottom. Okay, so I press edit at the top. So I'm going to bring in the button or buttons to this page. So I hit edit at the top right, and then I hit page in the top left. And then I choose download. Now before I choose that, the other option here is share. That's actually for uploading. If I was going to share a button or buttons, but I'm going to choose download. So I touch on download. Now this could take from a few seconds to maybe even a minute or so before you will see all of the list of our files and buttons and so on that are available to you. Uh, it's a free service, as you know. Uh, it, the time it takes before you see the list of the files that are available, uh, it really depends on your internet connection, whether you're using Wi-Fi or cell. Uh, but you do need an internet connection to be able to get into this uh, listing of files. Okay, so now we've brought up a list of all the files that are available. And as I scroll down, you'll see there are a lot of them. And you'll see them in different languages, in French and Finnish and Italian, you name it. And on the far right hand side, if you look where it says the number of items, that tells you how many buttons are included in each one of these um, files that people have uploaded and some are just a few and some are hundreds. Uh, you can see this one's called the actions button over here in the middle, action words for Judy. Let's go right back to the very top. And you see there's three buttons across the top and these are the different choices we have for, for as far as sorting. Remember, there are hundreds and hundreds of files in here from our thousands of customers and it's hard sometimes to find yours or someone you're looking for. So if you touch on description, it will now sort all these files based on description and the ones that have no description will show up at the first because it is alphabetical. And description 16 comes up and you can see these are all uh, sorted uh, alphabetically. Uh, for example, the ones that uh, here it says 24 button portrait, those are the ones that are included with your uh, with the software. So if you ever lost those, you could always re-download those, those again. Okay, back to the top. Uh, your next choice is category. If I touch on category, now everything is sorted based on category. So, so people sometimes have used the, uh, the category function and that's where you'll see them all sorted by category. And then the last one is date. If you touch on this date button, that puts the most recently uploaded files at the top. So if you or someone you know has just recently uh, uploaded a file and you're going to get a touch on date and you're more likely to find it right near the top so you don't have to just search through all of them. Okay, uh, knowing that let's uh, go back to description and I'll scoot down here and I'll pick something that's interesting. 
And let's take um, Aiden's Greetings. See right here, right in the middle, it says Aiden's greeting, Greetings, and it's 21 items. If I just touch on that, it'll say Communicating with Server, and give it a moment or two. It depends how many items it's downloading, but this was very quick because there's only 21. Uh, then touch on OK. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, if you touch that, that's the name of the page where you're bringing these, these buttons into. But if I touch on that top left-hand corner, which says Toys or whatever the name of my page is, now you can see I'm back to my page. And the moment I touch Done in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see my files appear that I've just taken from the sharing service. There. The second position, first row, is where they get put into. And then now if you don't want it there, I can touch on that Greetings button hold it and then I can move it to wherever I wanted it to go. I don't know, I'd put it here if you wanted. Okay, now let's see what's in that. If I touch greetings, there are all, here's my, next, my, my picture of Aiden, but these are um, all the greetings for Aiden. And not only that, it takes all those files, let me go back a page, takes that button and everything underneath it. So there's um, nurses, meds, thank you, have a nice day. And there's a sweet picture of Aiden there too. So anyway, that shows you how simple it is to then go and get buttons or pages from our sharing service and then bring it into your own vocabulary. It's fantastic.